Hey guys, welcome to DIY Crafts. Welcome to the playlist of crochet chess set in which you can learn how to make your own chess board and coins. In this video, I am going to show you a step by step pattern of making this rook for our chess set. So, let's get started. For this I am using a cotton 4 ply yarn and a crochet hook of size 3 mm. Now let's begin by making a magic knot. Just make a loop over your fingers. Now insert the working end through the center of the loop and this forms a magic center. I am in the magic ring. I prefer holding yarn in this way for making amigurumis. It keeps the tension at point. Now let's start making row 1. Make chain 1. And now into the center, make 5 single crochet stitches. That's the first one. 2 3 4 and finally the fifth one. Now close the magic ring by pulling the tail end tightly. Now make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes your first row and by the end of the first row we will have 5 stitches. For this project, I am going to work in rows instead of spirals, so we don't need any stitch marker. Now chain 1 and let's start making round 2. For this, insert the hook into the first stitch and make 2 single crochet stitches into the same stitch. That means we are going to make 1 increase. And now in the next stitch, Make another increase, that means 2 single crochet stitches going into the same stitch. That's the second increase. Now this is the third one. This is the first one. And then the second one. This completes the third increase and finally make the other 2 more increases. Now make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes the second row. By the end of the second row you will have 10 stitches. Now chain 1 and start making third row. For this make 1 single crochet stitch in the first stitch and then make 1 increase in the next stitch. Again 1 single crochet in the next stitch followed by 1 increase in the next stitch. Continue making this pattern for 4 more times. That's one single stitch then increase. Continue this pattern for rest of the times and by the end of the third row you will have 15 stitches. That's the last increase. Now make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes your third row with 15 stitches. Now for the fourth row, chain 1 and insert the hook only into the back loops of the third row. Insert the hook into back loop and make a single stitch. Now make one single stitch in each of the next stitches leaving the front loops. We are going to add the detailing using these front loops. Also this adds a nice border to the project. You can see the hi highlighting part. Now make the last single crochet stitch into the back loop and make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes your fourth row with 15 stitches. You can now see the line formed by the front loops. Now chain 1 and let's start making row 15. 
insert the hook into the first stitch and make a single crochet for the 15th row we are going to make one single crochet stitch throughout the row now by the end of the fifth row we will have 15 single crochet stitches again make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes your fifth row now let's start making sixth row here is where we are going to turn to the body part for this again insert your hook and work only into the back loops so make one single crochet stitch in first stitch and now in the next two stitches we are going to make one single crochet decrease that's a single crochet stitch and we have to drop a loop only from the back loops now we have three loops on the hook and draw the yarn and this makes a single crochet decrease now again in the next stitch make one single stitch followed by two single crochet decreases this is the first decrease and then the second decrease follow this pattern one more time make one single crochet stitch in the next stitch then make two decreases that's the first decrease and then in the last two stitches make the another decrease so now make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes your sixth row by the end of the sixth row you will have nine stitches and this completes the head part of the row rook now you can see the shape it's taking out tuck in the tail end into the head and now let's add some stuffing part to the head take a little amount of fiber fill and stuff it into the head using your fingers or you can take the help of a bigger needle like a 5 mm needle or 6 mm needle so it will be easier to push this fiber fill into the head of a rook make sure you do not stuff it too much because the head of the rook have to stay flat so if you stuff it too much the head turns round which will make it out of shape now let's continue with our pattern chain 1 and now let's start making row 7 make one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch throughout the row just one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch so now we are working on the body of a rook part I hope you are enjoying making this rook and chest set along with me if so please comment and let me know it's just one single crochet in each and every stitch that's the last one that's the ninth single crochet stitch now make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes your seventh row with nine stitches now follow the same pattern of one single crochet stitch in each stitch from row 8 to row 11 now making the last single crochet stitch in the 11th row then make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes the 11th row with 9 single crochet stitches here is the shape of the rook after completing 11 rows now let's start making the 12th row 
for this make chain one then make one single crochet in each of the next two stitches that means two single crochet stitches and then in the next stitch make one increase that's a single crochet increase now make two single crochet stitches in next two stitches that means one single crochet stitch in each two stitches then an increase again two single crochet stitches that's the first one and then the second one finally an increase now make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes your 12th row and by the end of the 12th row you'll have 12 stitches now let's start making row 13 for this make chain 1 and then do one single crochet stitch in each of the next stitches and throughout the row until you reach the starting point now I'm making the last single crochet stitch in the 13th row now make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes your row 13 with 12 single crochet stitches now it's time to add some filling to it so stop your work here and add some fiber filling into it I found it difficult to stuff it with my fingers so then I started stuffing it with the help of a bigger size needle and just poking this fiber fill into the head part make sure you stuff it with good amount of fiber fill so this work will take a good shape and it will look beautiful after filling the 3 4th part of the rook, let's continue by making the next rows. Adjust the loop and let's start making row 14. For this, make chain 1 and then make 3 single crochet stitches. That's the second one and finally the third one. And then into the next stitch make one increase that means two single crochet stitches into the same stitch again make three single crochet stitches that's two and the third one and now into the next stitch make an increase do this for one more time and now here I'm making the last increase after completing it make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes your 14th row with 15 stitches now chain one and make one single crochet stitch in each of the stitches at throughout the row this is for row 15 make one single crochet stitch throughout the row until you reach the starting point here I am making the last single crochet stitch in 15th row and now make a slip stitch we'll have 15 stitches in 15th row now chain 1 and let's start making round 16 for this make 4 single crochet stitches that's the second one third and the fourth one now in the next stitch make an increase that is two single crochet stitches into the same stitch again make four single crochet stitches and an increase two times throughout the row until you reach the starting point here i am making the last increase now make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes row 16 with 18 stitches now chain one and let's start making round 17 for this make one single crochet stitch throughout the row just one single stitch throughout the row until you reach the starting point now make the last single crochet stitch for 17th row and make a slip stitch into the first stitch now by the end of this row we'll have 18 stitches now chain one and let's start making round 18 
For this we are going to work only into the back loops. Make one single stitch and now make a decrease from the next two stitches. Drop a loop from each of the next two stitches and make a decrease. Again one single crochet stitch followed by a decrease. It's just a normal single crochet decrease. So we are going to continue this pattern for six times and tie throughout the row. One single stitch and a decrease. So by the end of the 18th row we will have 12 stitches. Continue this pattern throughout the row until you reach the starting point. Now make the last decrease. Make sure you work them little tight as this forms the base of our rook. Now make a slip stitch and this completes 18th row. Stop your work here and fill the work with fiber fill. Add stuffing to it. You stuff it good enough so it will stand perfectly. Again do not over stuff the toy. Just take a good amount and fill it. Now we are going to make the last row of rook. For this chain 1 and now using the front loops make an invisible decrease. That means insert the hook through the front loops of next 2 stitches and drop a loop. Make a single stitch. Again insert the hook into the front loops of next 2 stitches. Drop a loop and make a single stitch. This we call it as invisible decrease. We have already done two invisible decreases. This is the third one. Drop a loop and stitch. Make it three more times. And after completing all the single crochet stitches, make a slip stitch into the first stitch. This completes row 19 with 6 single crochet stitches. Now chain 1 and fasten off by leaving a long tail end. So this completes the base of a rook. Now I am using this tail end to make few finishings to the project. For this I am using a tapestry needle. Insert the tail end into the tapestry needle and now insert the needle into the front loops of all the 6 stitches in row 19. Now pull the tail end tightly and this brings the stitches closer. Now make a knot and this secures the work. Now in order to make the bottom flat, I am using this process. Now insert the needle through the center as shown and gently pull the tail end to get the flat bottom. Now hold it in place and make another knot on the top of the rook as shown. Again to get the flat portion on the top of the rook, repeat the same process of passing the needle through the center of the rook and make a knot at the bottom. Gently pull the tail end to have the flat top. Make another knot. Weave in the ends and trim the excess thread. You know you can see the shape of the rook. It's looking so cute and beautiful, isn't it? And now let's add some detailing to it. For this I'm using the front loops that we have left in the third row. For this I am using a 1.25 mm needle along with some gold color embroidered thread. Now take the thread and insert it into one of the stitches in the front loops of third row.
Now I am making a slip knot on the embroidery thread and now I am going to attach this slip knot into the front loops as shown. Insert the hook into the first stitch after the seams. Now make chain 1. Now into the same stitch make 3 single crochet stitches. While making the single crochet stitches I am including the tail end so I don't need to weave in this end by the end of the project. That's the first single crochet stitch, second and the third one. Now into the next stitch you can clearly see the front loop of the next stitch insert the needle into it and make three more single crochet stitches into the next stitch this is the second one and finally the third one now this completes the first petal of the rook now make a slip stitch into the next stitch this gives a small partition like separation in between the petals of the rook and now again into the next stitch make a single stitch that's first one two and three three single crochet stitches into the same stitch again in the next stitch make three single crochet stitches that's the second one and finally the third one this completes the second petal you can see the slight dip we have got in the pattern now into the next stitch make a slip stitch again going to make the next petal in the next two stitches that's the second one and the third one again three more stitches in the next stitch this completes the third petal continue this pattern two more times to complete the all the petals of the rook After completing the 3 single crochet stitches in the last stitch, I am going to join the next 2 stitches using an invisible join. This is the first chain 1 and the slip, slip stitch in the third row. So I am just going to close this using this slip stitch join. So this brings the petals closer. And now I am going to make another slip stitch into the first petal. So this completes the detailing part. Now chain 1 and trim the excess thread by leaving a little long tail. Now insert the tail end into the tapestry needle, weave in the ends and trim the excess thread. Now pinch the petals towards the rook to get the perfect shape of a chess coin. This completes the pattern of making rook for our crochet chess set. We have to make a total of 4 rooks to complete the set, 2 in one color and 2 in another color. I can't wait to complete the set and play with it. Even though we have enough stuffing to the coin, it tends to fall while playing. So it is suggested to add some weights at the bottom of the coins. You can sew them together or just attach it with some hot glue gun. I hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial. Do give this pattern a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Keep watching the playlist to get all the patterns for making this chess set. See you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, share it and subscribe to DIY Crafts.